Well, good afternoon, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I hope that you've been having some fun time with your families. It seems like you have. Thank you for all the pictures you've sent. Um, I have been home with Mr. Rickenbach and the dog and the cat. I've been working on report cards and doing a lot of reading and walking. I hope you got outside today. It was so beautiful. So listen, I wanted to try this read aloud. I hope that you get the link. I hope that it works out. But the book that I'm choosing to read today is a book I probably should have read yesterday. I probably should have tried it sooner, but it's called The Gingerbread Man and the Leprechaun Loose at School. And I'm sorry, I can't figure out how to turn off the mirror image. So I think you can still figure it out from the pictures, so let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. The Gingerbread Man, Loose at School, by Laura Murray, illustrated by Mike Lowry. One Monday in March, the mischief began with a hee-hee-hee from a wee little man. We heard the sly laugh as he raced down the hall. Then he paused by our door with a wink and a call. Bo oh, fiddly fee, you can't catch me, for I'm on a leprechaun mess-making spree. I'm crafty and keen, I'm nimble and quick. I love to make mischief or play a good trick. We rushed to the hall, he was nowhere in sight. But some tiny green shamrock trailed off to the right. It seems that our school has an unwanted guest, a magical, mischievous leprechaun pest. We quietly tiptoed our way down the hall, then spied a small message taped up on the wall. The woodwinds, the strings, percussion and brass are turned topsy-turvy, awaiting your class. I got a note from Julia that said she found some leprechaun traces in her house yesterday morning. Music, I whispered. The band room's this way. But when we arrived, we all stared in dismay. The sheets were all scattered. The tubas were tipped. The trumpets, violas, and flutes were all flipped. And there on the board was another green note. I grabbed it and read, uh, and read out his rascally quote. Oh, fiddly fee, you can't catch me, for I'm as clever as clever can be. This musical mess is just the first one. It's rollicking, frolicking, leprechaun fun. Let's tidy this room and then plan what to do before he comes back and makes mess number two. After our lunchtime, we'll work on a trap. Someone must capture that small cheeky chap. I slipped from the lunch line and went for a stroll to prowl all the hallways on prankster patrol. I'll search through the school as fast as I can. I can catch him. I'm the gingerbread man. I spotted more shamrocks, then heard a new noise. I pushed on a door with a sign that said boys. The place was a mess. Then I yelled with a blush, where are your manners? Remember to flush. Ew. I glanced in the mirror, then spied his green note. I quickly retrieved it and read what he wrote. Oh, fiddly fee, you can't catch me, for I'm as sneaky as sneaky can be. I placed all the books in my favorite shape and planned a few hijinks before my escape. He's loose in the library. This is not good. He won't treat the books in the way that he should. I'm on the case, I said as I ran. I can catch him. I'm the gingerbread man. The books were all stacked in a rainbow display. They teetered and tottered and started to sway. Down they all came in an avalanche slide. They toppled so fast, I had no time to hide. 
Then under the pile, I was startled to find something important that he'd left behind. Beside his green note was a little lost hat. I'm betting that he might be looking for that. I sprang from the books and I grabbed his hat too. Then I opened the message to read his next clue. Oh, fiddly see, you can't catch me, for I'm as tricky as tricky can be. The lunchroom, a classroom, which place should I go? Or how about a house made from gingerbread dough? My classroom, my house, I must get there first. I sped down the hall in a super fast burst. I'm on a mission. I've got a good plan. I can catch him. I'm the gingerbread man. I reached our door quickly. No sign of the elf. So I gathered supplies from a low closet shelf. I grabbed all the pencils, a ruler, and glue, then found toilet tissue and pulled it down, too. I set up my trap. Then I heard a small giggle. I peered out our door and I saw the knob jiggle. Oh, fiddly fee! Ha ha ha! Hee! Is that a magical hat that I see? With a glint in his eye, he skipped through the door, not noticing glue that was spread on the floor. Slipping and sliding, his arms whirled around as he log rolled on pencils laid out on the ground. He landed on top of the measuring stick. The ruler popped up and it gave him a flick. He slid down a mountain of soft tissue rolls, but his shoes were so sticky it stuck to his soles. Flipping and flopping, he spun round and round, then wrapped like a mummy, he rolled to the ground. His thumbtack, this is the blueprint here, mug, ruler, glue, pencils, eraser, crayons. Look at the plans he made. <laughs> The trap did the trick. I pulled off my plan. Hello, leprechaun. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, fiddly fee. Oh, my. Oh, me. This is a bind that I didn't foresee. I'm happy to help you, but first you must say, you'll fix up the messes you've left here today. Okay, little cookie, so crafty and keen. Just hand me my hat and I promise to clean. That's quite a good trick, but I'm smarter than that. You must do it First, then I'll give you your hat. Oh, you're pretty clever, as clever as me, he winked and then said, may your school be mess free. With a pop and a crackle of shimmering green, the mess disappeared and the classroom was clean. So I pulled on the tissue and spun him around. Then he sprang to his hat with a leap and a bound. He sang out, I'm free, as my classmates came in. Then he did a quick jig with a wave and a grin. It's time to be going. My mischief is done. But I'll visit next March with more leprechaun fun. I'm up for the challenge. We'll have a new plan. Bring it on, leprechaun. I'm the gingerbread man. Says, when a leprechaun is making mischief, the smart cookie has a clever plan to trap him. If that worked, we'll do another one soon. Have a great evening, everybody. I miss you so much. Keep those updates coming, and I'll talk to you soon. Love, Mrs. Rickenback.